Hello tech people! In this video, we will see how I made this custom RGB clock shield for my Arduino Uno. It has an RGB panel connector, an RTC chip and its components, including a battery. This video should give you a detailed idea on how to create any custom shield for the Uno. I have included all possible details needed, so feel free to skip to the parts that you might need. Let's get started. First, make the entire project on a breadboard. Code it and make sure it is actually working. So, this is my RGB clock without the shield. Once you are sure your circuit is ready, we can design the shield. For this, we will be using an open source software, KeyCAD. Head to keycad.org and download the software and install it. Open KeyCAD. If you want the RGB clock shield, I have linked the files in the description. You can download and open them, or simply go to File, New Project from Template, and select Arduino Uno Shield. Let's try making a simple shield. First, open the schematic editor. It should look like this. Let's make some space. And now you can add whatever components your project requires. Let's make a simple circuit. Let's add an LED and a resistor. Click on Add Symbol here or press A. Next type LED. Select the type of LED you want and press OK. Next, place a resistor in the same way. Let's assume you are connecting the LED to pin 8 on the Arduino. Connect one end of the resistor to pin 8 by clicking and moving the wire to pin 8. Connect the other end of the resistor to the LED and then connect the ground. Now, all the components need to have a footprint, which determines the actual size and shape of the components. Double click on the LED. In the footprint section, click Browse. Type LED and select the size of your LED. Let's say we are using a five millimeter LED, find that footprint and select it. Do the same for the resistor. Our circuit is now complete. Save this schematic. Next, open the PCB editor. Go to Tools, Update PCB from Schematic or press F8. Now place the components wherever you want. The connections should already be showing as thin lines. We just need to draw them out on the PCB. Select Route Tracks or press X, then make the connections. Then go to View. 3D Viewer. You should be able to see your custom shield. Save it. Usually most manufacturers use gerber files. You can export these files in KeyCAD. Go to File, Fabrication Outputs and Gerber. Next, select your output folder and click Plot. Your gerber files should be generated. And to actually make the PCBs, we can use an online PCB manufacturer. I am using PCBWay for their quality and fast shipping. Go to PCBWay, upload your gerber files and check out. So, this was my design and this is what we got. Let's check if it works. I am just soldering the header pins and the RGB panel connectors. Let's check an example code. It works. Now let me solder the RTC components.
and upload my clock project. Amazing. So this is how the project looked before, and this is how it looks now. Let me know in the comments if you made a shield or PCB for yourself, and as usual, a subscribe would be amazing.